Hey, it's Kathleen Burns Kingsbury here today with my little bloggy with a different angle on things. Wanted to talk to you about last week. I was off. I spoke at the Fidelity uh, Women's Conference and also at the Barron Top Women Advisors Conference. It was a phenomenal week and I learned a ton. One of the things I wanted to share with you was the idea that uh, as we're progressing and start and certainly starting to understand uh, women a little bit more, the work is really moving towards women in relationships. And a couple of different things I learned. One is that, you know, advisors are still struggling to figure out how to meet with both members of the couple at the same time. There are some advisors that require it. There are some advisors that don't. And I think one of the things uh, you can do is to start to play with that a little bit and educate your clients as to why it's important for both of them to be in the room. Number two, if you haven't had them both in the room the entire time during your engagement and you've been working with them a couple years, it's okay to try to do something differently. In fact, that may be a nice piece to engage the non-dominant spouse, in this case maybe a female client, although sometimes it's a male client, and invite that person in. You can simply pick up the phone and say, you know what, during our next meeting I'd really like you to join us, or if you have a relationship where you think it makes more sense to ask uh, your primary contact if you can invite the spouse in. If there's any pushback, just educate as to why that makes sense because at some point one of you will be managing the money without the other whether we like it or not. And even though we don't like to focus on that, that's a really important piece for people to understand. So that's the second thing. And the third thing is really educate yourself about couples dynamics. That it's different than working with one couple where there's just this straight relationship. When you're working with the couple dynamics, it's not only working with the husband husband and the wife or the wife and the wife or the husband and the husband, whatever it might be, it really is looking at the dynamics between the two of them. And so understanding how a couple operates and relates to each other and how you think and feel about that can be important work. So one, invite both members of the party of the couple in to your engagement. If you haven't done so in the past, it's never too late. And last but not least, learn about couples dynamics because that's a really important piece of the puzzle that you can help your couple clients with and it can differentiate you in the market. So this is Kathleen Burns Kingsbury coming off two great speaking events and just wanting to share some thoughts that I had uh, post-event. Take care and have a great day.